What's up everybody? I just got the boat back from the dealer for the uh, summarization. So got my impeller changed in the motor. I had my oil changed at the end of last year. So all that stuff's done. Also had them just kind of look everything over. Everything looks good inside the engine. Uh, so I am going to, it's kind of getting late. Let's see, uh, yeah, about 340 almost here. And uh, I'm gonna try to attempt to get my midship uh, bags vented and kind of do a video on, on, on how to do that. So I've got some weight makers boxes here with full of all tubing and fittings and all that good stuff. So I should be able to hopefully get this done. Um, it's gonna be kind of a pain figuring out how I'm gonna do the, the rear bags there because I'm, I'm thinking of swapping that overflow that's on the bottom there to the top. If you've seen some of my diagrams on the Facebook group or uh, Moomba owners group or forum. So, uh, but yeah, without further ado, uh, see if I can't just kind of piece together a video for you guys of how I'm gonna do it. Essentially you're gonna end up with two vents here, two vents on the rear bags. They're gonna be tied together and I'm gonna have a check valve uh, just before um, the the overflow outlet on the side of the boat. And then I think I'm going to also reroute my overflow tubing from the bottom bag to the top. So I have two overflows on the top of the rear bags. And also see if I can't play around with moving that uh, ballast pressure sensor there. Um, see if maybe that helps with the fault trips or potentially this, the, 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 uh, the overflow vents here helps with the fault trips. So... Anyways, let's get it going. So you can see that I've already removed these uh, two fittings right here. Uh, this one was in the front there, and this turd biscuit. These things do not vent. They're supposed to vent, like seep out through here. They don't do You can try to blow on that. The thing don't move. Um, so anyways, I removed those. You'll need like a crescent wrench to get those off because they're in there pretty tight. And uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is do a 90 degree here, 90 degree, uh, these are gonna be dry lock fittings. And I'll have my T fitting in between. The T will run the single line out towards the back. And I'll basically just tie in some little pieces of tubing here to tie all the, the, these two vents together. So let's get it going. So you can see, I'm just kind of laying it out. I've got my T fitting here. Uh, obviously these are, these have these other adapters or connectors. That have to go in there here's the part number for it hopefully that's focusing and uh i'll screw those in and then these dry lock 90s can go on top of there or actually they, they'll go this way and uh, so yeah they'll tie in to the t the t is going to run the single line out to uh to tie into the rear bags all right so you're going to take this fitting right here this allows the dry lock connectors to go on top of here and lock into these barbs so you're just simply going to screw um, this in actually let me double check something yeah these did not have an o-ring on them. this was the stock fitting that came out of there and my length is a little shorter so I'm wondering if those sealed down there I'm wondering if I should add o-ring on these since these are short i think i'm going to do that um it's on this guy right here this is a plug so i think i'm going to steal the o-ring off of here and stick it on this guy all right so now i've got the uh connectors on there for the dry lock things i didn't end up using the o-ring because the o-ring was kind of like bulging around uh down here so i'll just have to keep an eye on it and see how it feels and if they end up leaking through here, then I'll just put the O-ring in here and, and we'll figure it out. But for now, I didn't put the O-rings in there. Just kind of tighten them up as much as I could with the uh, crescent wrench. All right, so now I am going to uh, install this ballast hose. So in order to get it on these connectors, you have to kind of heat up the hose here. So I'm going to heat this hose up. Be sure you're not around anything. But you don't want to get, you know, heat on it. Alright, so 
so I've cut me a little piece of tubing here. Uh, the other end of the T will go on here. And out. Um, but I want, you want to go ahead and slide on your clamps here uh, before you put that T on. All right, so as you can see, this is my, pull this out, show you what I got or what I made. So it's got a little, my, my T right here, I put it at a little angle thinking that, you know, as the bag rises, I want my uh, vent hose going up here so i'm going to tuck it up, up up behind here so it stays out of the way so i figure i'd angle it up some but yeah this is uh the little pieces um end up cutting this down this side down several times it was a little bit longer and uh i just didn't want to have force against these two uh fittings but i'll show you what it looks like once it's installed so just push that down of course you'd push the red tab down to lock it down but there it is one midship vent that's teed in you know or two two vents for for one outlet there so uh yeah i'll use this as a template for the other side so it's all nice and symmetric and uh looks the same and then um yeah we'll, we'll get doing the, the rears all right so i've got the uh the midship vent dual vent in teed in i'm gonna run this line i've run it up there i don't know if you'll be able to see and uh i'll basically run it down along the top and i'll show you i'll have a light in there and show you and then i'll connect it to the rear bags but uh yeah that's the port side i've gone ahead and made it my uh my piece for my starboard side so uh yeah let me get finished installing this get it towards the rear all right guys well as luck would have it i didn't bring all the tools that i needed so could not finish entirely but i've got say 90 percent there so as you can see i've got my tubing ran these are my vents for the midship got the other side done and uh the tube is just kind of loosely thrown in here i haven't ran, ran it back to the back for the rears i forgot i forgot uh that that is a straight fitting i also forgot to bring some uh phillips head um a screwdriver basically so i can get that panel out and get that overflow tube out the stock one uh i did go ahead get down in there Ugh. i did go ahead and uh and put this vent on so uh this vent basically runs you probably can't tell but uh up inside of here this is the through hole fitting so you, this is the hose i've got going from the midship bag this will come up from the bottom and i'll have a check valve right here so everything kind of ties in together. Uh, this is the stock uh, overflow. It's gonna get swapped out, but um, until I bring the rest of the tools back, it freaking sucks uh, that I forgot those. So, not entirely finished, but you get the idea. I think this should help anybody. Um, and once I get out a little water, I'll finish, I'll show you the rest of the video on the, basically what I did on the install, but it's just basically tying in the rears right here and doing the check valve. So I'll cover all that on the next video. But uh, yeah, this should work out pretty good. I'm excited and um, I'm excited for the new fins. These are the new fins, uh, Chaos fins that I got for the Neo. I, I normally run just a twin setup. I'm gonna run these I pulled out the stock futures in the rear um, as soon as I got the boat, I mean the, the board because too glued in. So I'm gonna try the, the two Nubster rears. You know, we'll see how it goes. I may end up probably pulling them out, but I just wanna ride it so I can compare and then, you know, see how it is on a quad, change it out to a, to a twin. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up on here, but there is a uh, little kick out and it's got a really, crazy shape a lot of little curves or whatever kind of concave and it flares out right there um hopefully you can see that but we just had a massive storm system roll through yesterday 
epic flooding, record flooding. The lake looks like freaking Willy Wonka chocolate soup. It's not ideal to be out there right now. I, just, I saw floating trees going down, full on, full size trees floating down the, uh, the lake. So yeah, I won't be out there <laughs> at least for probably two weeks or so, let that stuff kind of die down. But next time we come down, we're gonna go on the lake. Uh, I'll come out here a little bit early, finish up my tubing and stuff, get us ready to go out on the lake. And I'll show you guys how I ended up finishing it up.